secret agent K-7 returns. America's number one adventurer, K-7, former United States secret agent who operated in 22 countries, on land, on sea, and in the air, brings you a story of today. We take you to K-7's headquarters. This is secret agent K-7 speaking. Send in special agent Z for assignment. At once, K-7. Special agent Z reporting for duty. Agent Z... According to recent information, dangerous secret agents have been entering this country as refugees. Their method is simple. They find a poor immigrant whose money and goods have been confiscated and pay him well for his entry permit and passport. We are particularly interested in a master spy named René Braun. Our information is that he is now aboard an incoming liner posing as a refugee. I have arranged for you and your assistant, Miss Norwood, to be placed aboard the ship at sea tomorrow morning. Early the next morning, Special Agent Z and his assistant, Patricia Norwood, were put aboard the incoming liner. Posing as immigration officials, they interviewed each of the refugees briefly. All seemed eager to talk. They were a brave people facing their new life ahead with hope and courage. They were grateful, too, looking ahead to new opportunities in a land of freedom. Agent Z received the first hint that Rene Braun might be aboard. Mr. Official, I'm glad to see you. So you know who I am? Yes, yes, you talked to one of my friends a few minutes ago. Hmm? Now, here are my papers. My name is Mendel, Aaron Mendel. Here is my passport. Thank you. Well, this seems to be in order. Soon we will land. I'm so anxious to see the cities. I've I've heard so much that the buildings are high, that there are churches, that anyone can go. The police do not even notice. Yes, you'll find that all men can worship God as they like. Oh, that seems wonderful. Is it not strange that it is not true in all countries? I cannot believe what I have seen these last few years. You cannot guess. Yes, I think I know what you've been through, Mr. Mandel. Are you traveling alone? Yes, yes, all alone, Mr. Official. Mm -hmm. Your wife, your family, perhaps? You left them behind? Yes. They are there. Why? If you were able to get an entry permit, why couldn't you get one for your wife or the rest of your family? It, uh, It was impossible. You see, my sons are gone. Two of them. Perhaps they are in a concentration camp. Perhaps, perhaps they are with... with Rebecca. I don't know, Mr. Official. My family is gone. Rebecca is your wife? She... uh, she was my wife. She's dead. Not strong, she wasn't. And and when the troops came, it, it was hard. We had not much to eat. Then she was beaten. Something she said, I don't know what, but but my Rebecca was good. A good woman and a good mother. She wouldn't say a bad thing, but they beat her. And and she died. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Mandel. 
I won't need to question you further. Your papers are in order. I'm convinced they're yours. Mine? Yes. Then you know... I know what? Always it is not so. They, some some sell their papers. I've heard of it. Tell me, Mr. Official, how could a man, even a poor man, sell his right to come to a land of freedom? Yeah, Mr. Mandel, if you know of anyone aboard this ship who is traveling on papers that are not his, it's your duty to tell me who he is. I, I, I do not know of such a one, Mr. Official. But one night, just after he sailed, I, I hear someone say... I, yes? I don't even know who. That the man that sold his papers and remained behind. I've studied the faces, but I, I cannot guess which one is traveling like that. If I knew. But enough. No more will I hate any man. Hate. I have left behind. Agent Z and Pat went ahead with their questioning with renewed vigor. Were they on the right trail? Land had already been sighted when Pat began questioning the last woman on her list. Your passport seems to be in order, Mrs. Brew. You're traveling alone? Yes, but soon I will not be alone. See, there is land out the little window. My children are there. Grown up they are. I've not seen them in many years. They're waiting for you? Yes. This letter from my son, it came just before I went to the boat. Read it. See, it oh. says they will meet me. <laughs> my little son, he's grown up and has a wife and a home. I go with them. Oh, it is so hard to wait. Why doesn't the ship go faster? I want to have my son put his arms around my neck. I want to hear him say, Mama. Will we be there soon? Yes, soon. Mrs. Bro, this letter, it's addressed to you and your husband. You have a husband. Give me my letter. Where is your husband, Mrs. Bro? Why isn't he with you? He, he is to stay behind. Back there. Why? He, oh, I don't know. I, I knew there would be trouble. Mrs. Bro, I want the truth. Look out that porthole. Your children are waiting for you out there. Unless you tell me the truth, your landing may be held up. No. No. You are a woman. You wouldn't keep me from seeing my son. Oh, no. I'll do everything I can to see that you get into your son's arms as fast as possible. But you've got to tell me the truth. Did your husband sell his papers and passport? You... You guessed. He did then. It... It was for me. I told him not to do it. I said there would be trouble, but he wanted me to come. They took all our money. We would have to stay back there even though we had our papers. Then Andre sold his papers to send me to our children. Please, you must not condemn him. He did it for me. Back there he is. May be arrested now. He looks so old as the ship sailed and crying like a baby. Don't say he's a bad man. Is the man who bought his papers on this ship? Uh, no, no, I, I cannot tell. Mrs. Brew, you've got to answer my question. I will be killed. Back then, my husband, my Andre, would be seized. I... This government will see that nothing happens to you or to your husband if they can help it. Is the man who is traveling with his papers aboard? Yes. Yes. I, I won't protect him. He is aboard. He's using my husband's name, but he is bad. He said when we landed, my son would have to help him. He is a spy. My son wouldn't spy against this new land that has been so good to him. You've got to believe that. I do believe it. Remain in your cabin, Mrs. Brule. My superior may want to question you. Ah, 
Pat reported to Agent Z at once. As the great ship pulled into its pier, Z located the spy who was traveling as a refugee. He'd already left his cabin and was at the rail, ready to be the first off the ship. There he is at the rail, Pat. You stay on this side. I'm going to talk to him. Mr. Brule? What do you want? Immigration service. I have talked with all other refugees aboard. Let me see your papers. Yes, of course. Here's my passport. Why weren't you in your cabin? All refugees had orders to remain in their cabins until questioned. Well, I, I thought they meant after we landed. I, I came up here to watch the harbor boats. I'm afraid you'll have to return to your cabin. I want to question you. I, I, I'm not going back. I have a gun in my coat pocket. If you try to take me back, I will kill you. Your gun won't do you any good, Braun. This passport is worthless. Your picture wasn't here when this was stamped. Take your hand out of your pocket. I'm going to jump over this rail and swim ashore. If you try to stop me, I'll kill you. You'd better stand still, Rene Braun. I also have a gun. Who are you? No. No, you won't take me. Special Agent Z reporting, K-7. A spy, Rene Braun, was found aboard the ship you suspected. He was injured while being seized. He is now lodged in the prison hospital. No other spies were found aboard. This code book and these instructions were found on Rene's person. He was here to dynamite several great power plants. And the case is closed. No one knows how many spies and enemy aliens have entered the world's great democracies as refugees. Today, in spite of the many who need haven in the world's free nations, immigration authorities have to exercise extreme caution. Listen for my next story. This is K-7 speaking. Mm -hmm.